All right. So hey, you know, in line, so good to meet you. We're here at the AI Infrastructure Conference here in Mountain View, and it's really good to, to meet you here, have you talk with me today. You're with Productive AI, right? So tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so Productive.ai enhances cell phone calls okay. with AI to automate your work as you talk. So for example, yeah. it's a note taker. It extracts action items from your conversations, yep. updates your calendar automatically, drafts follow-up emails, and if you have a CRM like most businesses do, everything just shows up there so you don't have to do any manual data entry. Interesting. All right, so, so are you grounding on an individual basis? Like, at a, like is it by like device? Like, how does that work? How do you how do you ground towards like that user, that use case? Yeah. So it's designed for mobile professionals. Okay. But half of the workforce that doesn't just sit in front of a conference call screen all day. Right. Real estate, sales, hospitality, transportation, insurance, mortgage, you name it. Okay. It's about 100 million people in the U.S. alone, and of course, much oh, yeah. much bigger outside. I mean, not the, it's the knowledge worker nomad, right? The, 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 the active person, they're like, Absolutely. I'm going to go surf today, I'm going to handle my stuff, or maybe my productive AI is going to help me do that, right? So how, Absolutely. So other than like touching those areas with the apps and kind of building that, in, that interchange of like data and systems and helping you guide the user to this, how, how does that, how does that, what's the day-to-day -day look like? Like, how much time yeah. are they saving? 100%. So it saves you about an hour a day. So our users on average save about five hours a week. The key here is that this is on really the last surface that doesn't have any automation. So you have note takers for your conference calls. You're seeing a lot of the in-person note takers. Yeah. And where AI is not meeting today is your cell phone call. So it works on all your devices, across your carriers, so anybody that has a cell phone can now add AI and automate their work. Right, so it doesn't matter if you have Verizon or AT&T, it, you know, is, it, right. is it installed on the actual device then? Yes, okay. so today it's an over-the-top solution, so you can just download it from the App Store, and the most important part is you don't have to change your phone number. Oh, good. Everybody else makes you get a second phone number. Right, yeah. or a Google Voice or something, you have to have some kind of way, because that's, that's, right. that's, that's the layer, right? You've got it absolutely right. That's yes, fantastic. Right. So, okay, how does that, how do you, so that's the personal side, how do you build that into enterprise? Absolutely. So for an enterprise, the lifeblood of any company is data. Mm -hmm. And today the companies are blind for the segment of their workforce that's using the phone. So we really fill that gap. So the organization has all that data to get insights, to automate the work so the workers are more efficient. And the goal is, by the end of their phone calls, all their work is done. So you literally have sales reps that don't have to spend an hour or hours a week just updating their CRM. Okay, that's so that's cool. So it handles HubSpot, that handles like Salesforce. 20 CRMs. Right, Salesforce. so, so, you so, so you, it, you're digging into that. It. Okay, yes, that's correct. That's interesting. So how about when, when companies have their MDM solutions and they're already in play, do you work with those too? Do you have API calls or workarounds or how does that work? Yes, so today it's an over-the-top solution, but we're working with mobile operators. Okay. So ultimately you'll be able to go to your mobile operator, ask for the AI productivity add-on, and it's on your phone. All right, what's, what's the biggest use case that your team is seeing and, and that you're like fielding in the market? Yeah, so the biggest one to start is just remembering details. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can imagine someone who is mobile, they're driving and they get a phone call yeah. and they don't want to wait because this potential lead might be worth tens of thousands of dollars. Okay. So they take the call, they either have to pull over today or they just keep going and hope they remember everything. And a lot of times they don't. The second use case we're seeing is compliance. And so all the industries that require you to have a record of every conversation, Okay. It's great when you're sitting in front of a, a phone in the office that has that functionality, but the minute you're using your cell phone, right. there isn't that functionality, you're out of compliance. The third use case we're seeing is really CYA, is when you have an agreement on the phone yep. and somebody said, you never told me that, and you had to, by law, tell them that. And it's there, this right? It's the only way you're able to protect yourself. That's, that's interesting. There, there is a lot more of that happening, right? Companies are bound by these SLAs. They're bound by these these items that they have to deliver on. And when they do that, they say, 
did you say these things? Did you follow the script, right? You're absolutely right. And so you're, you're basically doing that. You're saying, hey, we're, we're showcasing that script. These words were said, these actions were taken. That, that's fantastic, right? Because that, that's, that's a, a really big pain point that either people don't know about it or the people that do know about it go, that's exactly what I need. And for the very first time, exactly what you're saying, for the very first time that data is available for the AI to analyze and say, hey, you should call them back because you forgot to tell them this. Yeah. And you can imagine a world where the AI actually whispers in your ear, <laughs> like a coach that says, hey, don't forget yeah. to tell them this. Yeah, don't forget to in ask them their, their last name or get their phone number. That's right. Or because you were supposed to ask him 10 questions and you only asked eight of the 10. Right, or maybe you didn't have time because you have back-to-back -back meetings and your CRM, you don't have time to go look at it, but it says, oh, did you forget? Or hey, last time they talked to this person, the win or the really like, don't forget like their birthday's on tomorrow or something, something like nebulous, but yet still driven to, to kind of get that sale or to get that understanding. You got it. It's all about the relationship today. That's great. And if you can't remember the person you spoke to six months ago, and I can't. let's face it, you know. <laughs> Um, and imagine when somebody calls, the AI can actually show you the past history of the conversations you had with them from the start of time. So it's kind of in your own personal CRM. You got it. That ties into your actual CRM. So everybody gets the data that they need to be successful. That's right. So all That's... the work assistants today that you might be okay. seeing, the AI assistants today, they're doing a lot of personal things. Right. And what we're really building here is the ability to have a work assistant that can truly be able to do the things it does because of the data it has. Yeah. I would almost say it can truly be productive AI, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, that's what, that's what we're all driving for. We're driving like, how are we productive? How do I, how do I showcase that? How do I do that with safety in mind? How do I do that with security? And how do I drive that forward to where not only I am enabled, but the business is enabled. So together there's empowerment, right? There's empowerment, enablement, engagement. So, okay, so in, in general, how do people, know more about productive AI? How do they get to know you, what you can do, besides downloading it? Like, what's, what's like step one through five? Yeah, so website is productive.ai, and uh, the product is, of course, available to try. It's an over-the-top product today, but people look out for much more integrated solutions with a cell phone call, and feel free to reach out on LinkedIn, and happy to connect. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I mean just the last part is like, it sounds great, you're, you're probably building so many other things coming up. Uh, so if you were to, if you could share, like what's something that you're building towards or, or integrating in that maybe people don't realize when they actually just download the app? Yeah, so um, I would say that the most exciting thing that we're working on is really true integration. So we're working with our partners um, you know, and mobile operators to make this happen. So you can expect uh, just a really, really seamless experience coming up. That's great. Well, I mean, in live, it's fantastic talking to you. Productive you AI sounds very productive. Yes. I, I want to check it out. But I appreciate being at the AI Infrastructure Conference and great talking to you. Thank you for having me. Thanks.